What's up guys, McCaddy here bringing you a brand new OU battle. Now today I'm against a guy called Omar0987 and he's got a really interesting team actually because I think, well very few of them are OU to say the least. I think we've got a BL poke there. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you? Yeah. So there's a lot of are you in his team which I quite like but the problem that's going to cause is obviously uh, these three here are going to be pretty pretty slow, so that's something I've definitely got to watch out for. So in terms of lead, I'm not exactly sure what he's going to lead with, maybe the ripe area. So I'm going to go in into Ding Dong, I think that's probably the best bet. Just because it's my dedicated lead, if he decides to go out to the Mega Lopunny, I can definitely handle that. Especially being physically defensive as well. Um, as I said, the ripe area may come in, but I do have the... Um, Cordaunt for that, so that won't be too bad. He goes down to the Jolteon to start with. I am just going to set up the Trick Room. I'm pretty confident that I should be able to live a Shadow Ball if it does have Shadow Ball. So that won't be too much of an issue. Um, outside of that, I'm not exactly sure what he's going to go for. Um, hmm, it's difficult to know. I do manage to live that, so I can set up the Trick Room. And I'm actually just going to explode. Because I haven't exploded yet, and... My trigger finger is itching for that move, and I know I could set up the rocks, but with the fortress there and everything, I don't really see the point. I guess the Volcarona, it would make it quite a bit of difference. I am just going to go for the explosion and take out the Jolteon. Uh, I know it may not have been the best play, but it's the most fun play, and that's, in the end of the day, that's the, that's the most important thing to take away from all of this. So from here, I can go out into... Um, Okay, for some reason, it's not. It's changed my Christmas crab back to the previous move set, which may actually work out quite well in this situation, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, but from here, um, I imagine it's going to be one of the slow ones, either Caracosta, maybe the Fortress, probably the Rhyperia, to be honest. I'm going to go out into Christmas crab because it handles all of those pretty well. I'm pretty confident I can one-shot a Lopunny. And I know I can 2-hit KO the Rhyperia with its... If it... Actually, if it hasn't got the... No, it doesn't get sturdy anymore, does it? No, so he goes out into the Fortress. Uh, there's not too much I can think this thing can do to me. So... It's very tempting to set up, but considering it's got the sturdy... Um, hmm, I could set up. What's it going to have against me? I guess it could explode. It has its own way to explode, which would be a bit of a pain. I do outspeed as well. I'm actually just going to play it safe and go for the waterfall. It'd be good just to see what this thing's going to do. If he, I think I'm going to get a hit off, see what he decides to do, and I can always set up an SD from there. And I think that's probably the best bet. He does set up the Stealth Rocks. Right, so from here, I might as well set up the SD, especially with his Rocky Helmet and things like that. That's going to cause me a few issues. So he does outspeed as well, so if he ends up exploding this turn, there's not much I can really do. But, um, hopefully he won't. <laughs> but, um, it's a bit annoying how he's got the, uh, Rocky Helmet on there. He may decide to switch out, but I'm not exactly sure what he would choose to switch out into. Um, he really doesn't have anything for water types. So if I can get an SD up, I can definitely do a lot of damage. He does decide to set up some more hazards, which I, I can see as advantageous, but to be honest, um... My, my team doesn't worry too much about hazards. I've got recovery on, on Randolph. The blob in uh, it, you know ignores that. I guess the Ampharosa is going to wear it down a little bit. So that is going to cause a few issues. But um, it's certainly something I can work around. I'm going to be trying to keep the trick room up. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that much um, sort of in terms of switching. It's going to be mainly uh, switching one and getting trick room up and sweeping from there. Um, look at the team. Porygon definitely does work against this guy's team. With uh, Thunderbolt hitting that neutrally and that neutrally. And Ice Beam um, hitting that well. Thunderbolt hitting that well. So we'll see what he goes out into. I do run enough speed that I should be able to outspeed the Rhyperia. He does go out into the Lopunny. Which <sighs> tells me he has the Fake Out. Which upsets me. So I think unfortunately I am going to have to stay in. With the amount of rocks and all other rubbish on the field. I'm going to have to stay in. I may end up living this, and if I can live that, that would be absolutely excellent. He may not realise 
you know, he does go for the fake out. And that doesn't take me out, actually, which is pretty good. And I... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't even... <laughs> That would be a terrible misclick. I hope the cancel... It's given it enough time, so hopefully the cancel button. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought I had um, Aqua Jet as the last move, but that was pretty stupid to play on my part. But hopefully, hopefully the cancel button. We're going to cancel an Aqua Jet again, just to make sure... Make it clear to Showdown that's what we want. Um, and the... Whoa! <laughs> I guess it is Life Orb with uh, double attack, but... Oh, that's that's pretty impressive. So, from here, he doesn't really have too much to switch in. Because, I mean, I'm going to outspeed the Caracosta. I guess that could have the Sturdy. Um, may backpack the Aqua Jet of his own. That's the thing. So, actually, I am kind of forced to go for the Aqua Jet. And I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet because that will break a Sturdy. I can go out into P2 and set up a Trick Room again from there. And all should be well. Looking at his team. 67%. That was a mistake. I think. Oh no, he may he may outspeed me now with the Aqua Jet. So we'll just have to see. I yeah. This that may become problematic. We'll, we'll see. I do have Mac Punch on um Randolph as well, and I'm pretty confident I could take an Aqua Jet from this thing. So it It depends how much speed investment he's got, really. I don't think He's probably going to run enough to outspeed me, in all honesty. But he may not run Aqua Jet. We'll have to see. <laughs> so, just fingers crossed. That's that's the best we can do, unfortunately. He does pack the Aqua Jet. So, from here, it is quite tempting to go out into Glitch. Because I know I can set up the Trick Room. Um, Randolph is a possibility with that Mac Punch. But then I am going to take quite a big hit. And to be honest, my Porygon is much more bulky. I'm going to go out into Glitch. Um, compare the sp yeah, I'm definitely going to outspeed, so I might as well go for the Trick Room. Um, hopefully, these hazards won't make too much of an issue. Uh, sort of make too much difference. I am pretty bulky, so I'm. Oh, the only thing is though, no, I can't set up the Trick Room because if he takes, if he brings me down to low, then the next turn he's going to Aqua Jet me and take me out. So actually, I am unfortunately going to have to go for the T-Bolt and, and not set up the Trick Room. Um, in terms of the problems I've got ahead, Waterfall, oh, as long as he doesn't, he doesn't flinch me. Okay, that's good. So that's now out of the way. His only option really is to go out into Volcarona. And I think it's worth me staying and setting up the Trick Room in all honesty. Because if I can get the Trick Room up, then this thing cannot sweep me. Because... He's, he may end up going for the Quiver Dance this turn. So I'm going to go for the Trick Room. He may decide to um, sort of eat. He's going to either set up on me. Or he's going to uh, just Revenge Kill me. So we'll have to see. There's no point in me switching out anyway because of the Hazards. He does go for the Fiery Dance. And he does get the boost. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is go out into probably Randolph. Um, Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz. Don't know if I can take that. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm going to have to go out into Randolph and hope that a, a knockoff and a Mac Punch, which I'm relative, I'm sh should should be enough to take that out. I'm pretty confident that I can take a hit as long as he doesn't have the, um, oh, what's it called? Hurricane. But to be honest, they don't normally. So we're going to go for a knockoff this turn. And I think the combination of that and then a priority no um, Mac Punch should be enough to take it out. I'm pretty confident I can live that because I've got the Assault Vest. He does get an increased amount and I get the crit. Okay, so I would have been in trouble outside of that crit. So that's that's good to know in some ways. So I do knock off his leftovers. So he's not going to recover any more health as well. And I'm pretty... I think a Mac Punch should take him out. And a Mac Punch does take him out. It does burn me though. But... Oh no, I'm not going to outspeed the Rhyperion X. I don't think... But that's pretty, that was pretty close. I may have been in a little bit of trouble there. It would have come down to whether I could take a hit with my Amphros. And to be honest, I don't think I would have done. So I think that crit actually saved me right there. Which was quite lucky, I must admit. He does go into the Rhyperia. And I may outspeed, actually. So I am just going to go for the Drain Punch. Mm. Mac Punch, Drain Punch. Uh... Let's go for the Drain Punch, and we'll see. I'm pretty confident I can 
take it out with the combination of two Pokemon that I've got left. So he does outspeed though. Mm. So well, we're going to have to go out into Ampharos and get Dragon Pulse off. Even if he ends up taking out Ampharos, I'm pretty confident Blob should be able to take him out from there. I'm, I think. Um, so we're going to Mega up this turn and using the increased speed that we got at the minute is going to work out quite well for us. I don't want to miss uh, missing the Focus Blast, so I'm just going to go for the Dragon Pulse. And that should leave it open for Blob to then come in and finish this off. So, Mac Punch probably was the better play, but I didn't anticipate this to outspeed. Maybe it was more of a speed tie. Um, looking at that speed, it probably may have just slightly pit me. He does outspeed, so he is running some speed on here, I think. So, I'm going to go out to Blob, and it now comes down to whether I can take this out. I should have Mac Punched. I should, really should have. So, we're going to have to rely on Focus Miss taking this out. But, I have only got 58 speed. So, am I better off Trick Rooming? Trick Room. He goes for his move. I Trick Room. I go for the next move. It kind of does make sense to do that. Yes, it does make sense. So, I'm going to set up the Trick Room. So this is going to be pretty close. He does miss his stone edge. Now this is going to be absolutely crucial because I can get my trick room up. Yeah, the, I definitely, definitely should have Mac punched and played it safe. I, I was bit getting a bit greedy and I shouldn't have um, just uh, risked it with that speed. Because I had no idea what, how fast this thing was going to be. So I'm going to be able to get Focus Blast off. Hopefully I don't miss. If I do miss, it's going to cause all sorts of issues, and I'm probably going to lose, to be honest. So it's going to come down to banking it on Focus Miss. I could have gone for the Shadow Ball. Half of me wishes I do, did. Um, but, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not man enough to risk throw away this game on a Focus Blast. I'm cancelling that and going for the Shadow Ball, because I don't think it can, can one-hit KO me. So, I, it makes more sense to do that. I do hit anyway, and I get 93% off. And, yeah, I would have been able to hit it. So, it, two Shadow Balls would have made more sense. But, um, luckily, I do the win this. There was a lot of hacks either way. But, to be honest, I, I think that should that he should have won with the Volcarona, in all honesty. But, um, it was very sort of back and forth with the match, which was really good. And, I do take him out with a crit to finish as well. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I will see you at the next one. The caddy out. If you enjoyed the video and want to keep up my latest content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. The caddy out.